In this tutorial, we're going to cover anchor tags in WordPress, also called anchor links or jump tags. And what they do is you click on a link on a page and it scrolls down to a certain part of the page, or you click on the link and it scrolls down to a certain part on another page. And I'm going to show you how to do that right now. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. It's Bjorn from WP Learning Lab, where we are all about WordPress. And if you want to get better at WordPress, make sure you stick around and hit the bell icon or the thumbs up or both while you're at it. And with that out of the way, let's head into the screen capture. First thing we want to do is open up some kind of page editor. I'm going to go to posts and then add new. You could add a new page. You could edit an existing post or page and just add in what I'm going to show you here. It's going to give this a name of anchor text links or just anchor links or whatever you want to call them. Some people call them speed links, a lot of different names for them. I got some more Ipsum text from the Lorem Ipsum website. I'm just going to paste that in here. You will likely have real text. I'm in the text editor over here. You can do this in the visual editor as well. I prefer working in the text editor. And I'm going to add a link. First, I'm going to save the draft. Because to make this effect work properly, we need to add a link that's below the fold. Otherwise, it, the effect doesn't really work that well. So I'm just going to open this page and see how far down we should add a link. So it looks like the top three paragraphs are above the fold. So I'm just going to add a link to paragraph five. Find the fifth one. I'm just going to add a link right here. And I'm just going to call it A for the link tag, which is the HTML link tag. Add a name attribute with an equal sign, then open and close double quotes. Close the tag and then add a closing tag with nothing in the middle. And here we're going to add whatever name you want. So let's just call it jump, as in jump down to this part of the page. And at the top of the page, I'm going to create a link. This is going to be a real link. And it is going to be with the href tag, open and close quotes, and then close the tag, and then add anchor text, which is going to be jump to paragraph 5. And inside of the href tag, or href tag, you're going to put in pound jump if you're on the same page as the anchor text link. I'm going to show you how to do this on different pages in just a minute, but first let's just do this one. Save the draft, refresh our page out here, and now we have our jump to paragraph 5 link here. If we click on that, it jumps down to paragraph 5. And in fact, this is paragraph 5 right here. So the menu overlaps a little bit. Let's, let's just confirm that. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, so the, the menu, when you have a sticky menu like that, it overlaps a little bit. So you'll likely have to adjust where you put this exactly so that it doesn't do that. It's set or it's designed so that the top of, or sorry, the, the position of this link is at the very top of the screen. So if you have a floating menu, it's going to overlap. So what you can do is just add it back one paragraph, because likely you're going to jump to a heading. So this would probably be something like, let's make this an H2 and call it paragraph 5. So likely you're going to have something there that, that tells people, tells visitors what exactly it is they're linking to. So if we do it like this now, Save the draft, come out here and refresh the page. We don't have a paragraph five heading. And now if I click on jump to paragraph five, it's actually jumping to paragraph four. That's where my link is. But the first thing that people see is paragraph five, which is the link that they clicked on and that's what they wanted to see. So that's usually how I do it. I don't put the jump link exactly where I want the people to go. I put it just above because some people some browsers, some devices, just treated differently. So I just make sure that there's some place in the page that indicates that they're there, that they're where they want to be, which is the heading. And then I put the jump link above that somewhere. Another thing you can do, instead of using an A tag like this, you can actually add an ID to anything. In this case, I'm going to add the ID to the paragraph or the H2 heading here. And I'm going to just call this jumper just to prove that it's actually working and change save draft 
and then refresh the page. And now we're gonna jump directly to that heading instead of to an A tag. So I click on here, it jumps to that heading, and again, the overlap. So this method is less flexible because the tag we're jumping to is in the same position as the thing that indicates where we are, so the paragraph tag in this case. So I usually use the A tag, but I wanted to show you both just so you know that both are available. Depending on your situation, you might use one or the other. I'm just gonna put the A tag back up here. And if you don't add the closing A, then it will link to everything down below. So if you don't add this piece here, you never actually close the tag. So whatever this tag is, is gonna to apply to everything below it. And it can turn to kind of a mess. So I'm just gonna close it, which is the best practice. And now what we're going to do is we are going to add a link to a different page. And I'm going to link to this spot from a different page. So if I save the draft because I maybe just made some changes here, I'm going to publish it. I save draft and publish at the same time. Let's see what happens. Maybe it'll blow up. No, it didn't blow up. And it saved the page. We now have our real URL here, no longer a preview. And now I'm going to add a link to... It could be any other page, but just for fun, I'm going to add it to the menu. So let's go over to menus. So the menu is one of the Elementor menus, and it's page banner sec1 menu. So you have to pick the correct menu you want to add it to. If you're adding it to a menu, if you're adding it to a page, just add this link I'm going to show you to a page. But I'm going to add it to a menu. So I'm going to go down to custom links. I'm going to get the URL from here. The URL of the page that we're linking to paste into this URL. At the end, add a pound or a hashtag with the name of the A name or the A or the ID, whatever one you chose on the page. And then add a link text of jump to paragraph five or whatever link text you want that to be. Click on add to menu. And we add that at the last spot. We can move it around if you want. You can make it a sub menu item, whatever you want to do. Click on save menu. Now I'm going to head out to the home page, and then we should have a flyout under portfolio for our new menu item. And there it is, jump to paragraph five. And now when I click this, it should go to the new page we created and take us right down to paragraph five immediately. So let's try that. And there it goes. It wasn't immediate, the page loaded a bit first, and then we jumped out of paragraph five within a second or two. But that is how we create anchor links or jump links or speed links or whatever it is you want to call them. That's how we can link to a specific point on a page, either using a link on the page, like a table of contents, for example, or having links from other pages referencing specific parts of a different page. For example, an FAQ section would be something you do for there. So if you had common questions people ask on your site, you could say, you could have a blog post and say, and a common question people ask is this, and I answer it over here. And you have that link go right to the specific answer on your FAQ page. There's a lot of different use cases for these anchor links. So it's a good thing you know, and I'm glad you learned about them. So that's how it works. I hope this video helps you. If you haven't done so yet, make sure you follow along, then hit the bell icon or the thumbs up, and check out our private Facebook group, link to in the description down below. And next up, just click on one of these videos that popped up on the right-hand side so you can get even better WordPress. And until next time, keep crushing it, and I will see you in the next video.